nyo rang here na yung check. And this time, you talk mostly about personal finance and topic. It's sometimes you make videos about something that up with the time interesting. But today, for this video, I'd love to talk about the four different types of life insurance that you should know. When you look at life insurance groups on social media, all you could see people talk there are VUL, VUL, VUL. And siguro kasi the main reason why people talk VUL dun sa mga groups na is because it is being promoted as life insurance with investment. Which is totoo naman. So pagka narinig kasi ni client na uh, life insurance na may kasamang investment, so, so parang sa kanya, sobrang okay na agad yun. But in this video, I just wanted to share other life insurance products that may better cater for your needs. For this video, I wanted to talk about term life insurance, whole life insurance, and variable life insurance. But before we proceed talking about dun sa mga different types ng insurance, gusto ko muna explain ulit what is a life insurance. So basically, a life insurance is a product that uh, gives financial protection to your beneficiaries and yourself pag kami nangyaring unwanted sa'yo. So for example, bigla kang namatay, or bigla kang naaksidente, or bigla kang na-diagnosed with a critical illness. So a life insurance will be a financial relief para sa'yo or kaya naman sa beneficiaries mo. So ayun, now we proceed talking dun sa mga different types of life insurance. Okay, let's begin with term life insurance. Basically, a term life insurance insures you for a certain window of time. So pwedeng 5 years, 10 years, or up to a certain age. So hindi ka insured for the rest of your life. So uh, insured ka lang talaga for a certain window of time. Okay, if something unwanted happens to you within the term period policy, so insured ka pa, yung marireceive pang claims yung beneficiaries mo. Pero once nangyari yung unwanted na pangyayari after nung term ng policy mo, wala na claim pa yung mga beneficiaries mo. So, ano yung advantages and disadvantages of a term life insurance? So, number one, it gives you the most coverage for a certain amount of your money. So, parang makukuha mo yung pinakamataas na debt benefit for a small amount of money. For example, example lang to, hindi ko sure kung magkano talaga yung mga rates kayo. Pero for example, yung 10K mong bayad sa life insurance mo, it could cover you a 1 million pagka-term mo kinuha mong life insurance. Pero pagka kumuha ka ng other types of insurance, yung 10,000 mo, mas less than 1 million pa yung debt benefit na makukuha mo. So, a term life insurance gives you the most coverage for your money. So, what are the disadvantage of a term life insurance? So, ang nakita ko lang naman na disadvantage niya is, wala siyang saving mechanism and wala siyang investment mechanism na kasama. So, if walang nangyari sa yung masama within that term of your policy, which is actually good, kaya nga lang, wala ka na makukuha ang claim sa insurance company if nothing happens to you within the term of your insurance. So, when you say term life insurance, most useful. So, nakita ko itong napaka-useful when you have kids. Kasi pagka may anak ka naman, you're only going to support them for a certain amount of time. So, once na nakagraduate na yan, and may sariling work na yan, magiging independent then, and you don't have to support them na. So, pwede kang kumuha ng term life insurance that covers you up to the point na nag-aaral lang anak mo. Kasi, habang nag-aaral pa sila, this is a, this is a time na they need the most uh, financial support. So, if something happens to you, sobrang magiging at risk yung life ng family mo and yung wife mo kasi baka hindi nila kayanin isupport yung family mo if suddenly bigla ka na wala. So, this is a time talaga na it's very useful na kumuha ng term life insurance. Next, let's talk about whole life insurance. Technically, based from the name, you're insured for the rest of your life. Pero most uh, whole life insurance is sa Pinas only insures you up to age 100. It looks enough for now, pero hindi natin alam. Maybe in the future, may improve natin yung healthcare technology natin and it could drastically extend yung lifespan natin. Anyways, what's the main difference between a whole life insurance and a term life insurance? The key main difference is it covers you for your whole lifetime. So, lagi may makukuha claims yung beneficiaries mo. So, walang uh, time window. So, uh, pag may nangyari sa'yo, automatically, once eligible makakuha ng claim yung beneficiaries mo, they will be able to get a claim. So, basically, it's more expensive than term insurance, pero it insures you for your whole lifetime. And some types of this insurance allows you to get some dividends. So, yung policy owner, kahit walang mangyaring masama sa kanya, uh, may makuha siyang benefits habang buhay pa siya na pwede niyang gamitin and pwede niyang i-enjoy. Last that I wanted to add about whole life insurance, it gives you more certainty sa mga dividends na makukuha mo or sa endowment na makukuha mo if yung whole life insurance mo has endowment. Kasi siguro yung main key difference nito why some uh, wealthy Filipino Chinese likes yung whole life insurance is yung uh, endowment benefit niya, it gives you more certainty kung magkano yung makukuha mo. Unlike sa mga VUL, kunwari sa VUL kasi yung investment component niya, uh, hindi ka sure kung magkano talaga yung makukuha mo. It, depends high, it highly depends on the market's performance. So, yung iba mas prefer yung whole life because of its certainty. 
DUL or Variable Universal Life Insurance or sa mas madaling salita, insurance with investment linked to it. So basically, uh, ito yung insurance na may kasamang investment. So nangyari, pag nagbabayad ka ng premiums mo or yung binabayad mo sa insurance mo, napupunta siya sa insurance cost ng uh, policy mo and the rest napupunta dun sa investment component ng policy mo. So kagandahan sa BUL is as you pay for your insurance, nakapag-invest ka na din at the same time. Another thing na gusto ko dito is para siyang dough ng pizza. Let me explain. Sa VUL kasi, pwede mo siyang lagyan ng iba't ibang riders. Or sa pizza analogy natin, toppings. Pwede mo siyang lagyan ng accidental death benefit. Meaning, if yung cost of death is due to accident, may additional compensation na matatanggap yung beneficiaries mo. Meron din critical illness na rider, which means pag na-diagnose ka with critical illness, napasok dun sa rider mo, may makukuha ka additional compensation. Last that I want to mention na rider is yung hospital income rider. Meaning, pag na-confine ka sa hospital, may matatanggap ka certain amount of compensation per day na naka-confine ka. And madami pang ibang rider, pero ito muna yung mga notable riders that I wanted to mention. So, it looks really good on paper, di ba? Pero ano yung drawback from a VUL? For me, ang hindi ko lang masyadong gusto sa VUL is wala siyang specialty, parang it can do everything, pero wala siyang something na it does really well. For example, pag i-compare ko siya sa term insurance, a term insurance gives you the most coverage for a certain amount of money. So, parang yun yung pinakasulit na insurance para sa pinakamaliit na perang ibabayad mo. And yung investment component naman, pag i-compare ko siya sa mutual fund, a mutual fund parang maximizes your money well. Well, kasi mas less yung charges niya compared to a VUL. So, may final thoughts about VUL is pagka wala pang idea kung ano talaga yung gusto mo mangyari, kung wala gusto mo lang magkaroon ng insurance at the same time may investment ka, then VUL is really good for you. Pero pagka may specific kang concern, I think there are other life insurance products that's more suitable para sa'yo other than VUL. Okay, the last that I wanted to talk about is yung health and accident insurance. So I'm not really sure if category talaga to ng life insurance, pero this is something na introduced sa Philippine market way back no 2018. So may kita mo sa film yung Vitality, for Sun Life, Sun Fit and Well, for Fru Life, Fru Wellness, for AXA, AXA Health Max. So no 2018, nakita na mga insurance companies that there's a need and demand for critical insurance. Kasi ito naman talaga yung kinikater ng mga products na to. These products are not mainly designed para sa mga checkups mo o kaya naman yung mga mild health conditions mo. Kasi pang HMO yon. Itong mga products na to is mainly designed para sa mga cancer treatments o kaya naman yung mga super major surgeries. So ako personally, I have one critical illness policy of my own. So if you have bad genes, na-experience mo naman siguro yan from your parents, nakita mo yung dinanas nila. So for people that is highly concerned for their health condition, I highly, highly recommend this kind of uh, life insurance policies. So this category of life insurance policies mainly concerned para sa health mo. Pero alam ko may mga narinig na ako na ganitong kind of policy that also has yung mga saving component and dividend component na naka-attach sa kanila. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new today and you find value sa video ko. If you want to learn more about life insurance policies, you may check yung playlist ko ng life insurance. I'll link it in the show notes and sa end ng screen. Don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos na kagaya nito. Alright, that's it. Bye!